Assalamualaikum and hi! My name is Nur Adila Ajana Hassan bin Abdul Fattah and today I am going to talk about owning your part in a toxic relationship. Have you ever been in a toxic relationship or wonder with whom should you be in a relationship? A relationship is one of the most critical choices a person can make in life. Being in a relationship requires time, attention, care, understanding and sacrifice from both ends. The relationship is considered toxic when you and your partner engage in a behavior that is emotionally and sometimes physically damaging to one another. Keep in mind that it takes two people to make a relationship toxic and it is quite hard to admit wrong and be accountable. According to my research, a study has proved that being in a relationship that is toxic puts people at a higher risk of anxiety, paranoia, and even narcissism. Based on my past relationship experience, I was affected as well. I am aware that I was mentally and physically drained at that moment. However, luckily I managed to get out of it soon after. There are some toxic traits that can be identified and how to handle them so that you will no longer holding on to this kind of relationship. Now, let's find out what they are. Firstly, you need to be accountable of your own behavior in the relationship. If you realize that you always manipulate things, it is actually one of the signs of behavior that is leading to a toxic relationship. It is no secret that being compulsively lying to your partner is detrimental, but gaslighting takes it to a whole other level. What is gaslighting, you may ask? Gaslighting is when you accuse your partner for being crazy or paranoid just to keep them off your trail of lies in that relationship. Now that you realize what kind of behavior that makes the relationship unhealthy, let's move on to the next behavior. The second behavior is you never fix your problem between you and your partner. Well, if you neglect to nip problems in the bud, it will cause your partner to resent you. Because there is something in our brain that is called negativity bias that may to be blamed for this resentment because our brains tend to remember only the negative aspects of things instead of the positive ones. In fact, Research has shown that adults are more likely to use negative stimuli more than the positive information to help them learn, make first impressions of others, and make sense of their experiences. For example, if you never apologize or admit wrong and make things right, your partner will, will accrue a host of negative memories related to being unfairness and injustice. Now that you are aware of the harsh truth, you know that it is always the negative side of things that plays a part in a toxic relationship. Now, what is another etiquette that can affect your relationship? The third one is you do not trust your partner. A relationship without trust is actually a car without gas because it's not going anywhere. The lack of trust in a relationship could also stem from a insecurity that we have developed within ourselves. When we are insecure about ourselves, we have a, a higher tendency to develop mistrust in a relationship as there is a constant worry that our partner might leave us. Furthermore, why would you want to be with someone when you think that they are doing something wrong every time you turn your back? For example, you are testing your partner's loyalty by, by pretending to be someone else on social media to flirt with them. It is true that every, every relationship will face struggles but don't worry there is always a solution to these problems the most important thing is to focus on self-care because sometimes people have some underlying problems such as a history of trauma or having a broken family that can cause them to behave in a certain way 
Taking care of yourself is important, no matter how small it might be, such as exercising regularly. Relaxing yourself or minding your mental health will set a clear path with you and your partner. It helps to clean, cleanse your mind and put you at ease and you will think more rationally before making any decision in your relationship. Now, do you have a clear vision on how to resolve your relationship issue? Last but not least, learn to give and take in relationship. When you think your partner is not treating you the way you think you deserve, talk to them and say it directly. This might help them to realize their mistakes and encourage them to change for the better. This shows that you care and you are willing to be the game changer in whether or not your relationship strengthens and lasts longer. To wrap it up, it is not always someone else's fault that you ended up in a toxic relationship. You should also acknowledge your mistakes in that relationship. Remember that all relationships have its own hardships and it is to determine whether you are ready to solve everything with your partner including changing your attitude in the relationship or will you leave it hanging it is time for you to play your role in fixing your relationship to be healthy again each person has a different personality that makes a relationship unique the more you put your effort to maintain a healthy relationship the better understanding you will have towards your partner. That is all from me. Thank you for lending me your ears.